It blows my mind that there's nothing prettier than the sound of people just singing. It's good, it takes all the pressure off us for one. <laughs> it's the truth. And, uh, I believe that's why God gave us a voice, He gave us music. You don't need all of this, all of this to encounter God. You just need a, a heart and a song, even if you can't sing. <laughs> Thank God for that. <laughs> I'm talking about myself, obviously not Taya. But you know, um, just we live in a crazy world. Uh, we live in a, a crazy time. I have so many friends in my life who, um, who people who are close to me. Just conversations, you know, you have around dinner. Or, hanging out. People are anxious. People are fearful. And, um, it's not a new thing. But it's a real thing. And I know in this room there's so many people. If you're honest, you know, it's true for you. It's just anxiety or fear. You think about the future, you get fearful. You think about the children, maybe you get fearful. You think about work, you get anxious. There's people here who you go to sleep at night and you just can't shake it. This anxiety comes. You don't know where it comes from. You don't know how to get rid of it. You do all the things. You read in the books. You do all the things the preacher tells you to do. And it's just like, you don't know how to get rid of this thing. I just believe that tonight there's some people who are going to get set free. Because I know the enemy, he, he jumps on fear. It's like he's his number one weapon, you know, because fear has the tendency to hold us back from the things that God wants us to do. It's a bad motivator. <laughs> and um, I just know that in the word when it says, be still and know that I am God, there's something to be said about just understanding who God is and who he says he is. Standing strong on what he's already done and stepping out into what he's promised he's going to do. Work all things together for the good of those who trust him. And we're singing, All I Need Is You, and I believe it with all my heart. I just think all we need is him. And it's the simplest thing in the world, but I don't know that it gets any better than that. There's something to be said about surrender, about not trying to control everything on our own. We can't. We can control ourselves most of the time. But everything else is in God's hands. And so there's such a power to surrender. In the world's eyes, surrender might look like a show of weakness. At all costs, just look like you've got it all together. At all costs, just front, make it look like everything's great. But God, because of Jesus, because of what Jesus did on the cross, because Jesus went to the cross as a peace offering on behalf of every single one of us. Because Jesus took upon himself everything that we couldn't carry, but everything that we did. Because Jesus died on that cross, his blood shed to make peace for you and I, whoever you are. And because he rose from that grave and he said he was going to give us his spirit. And because the word says that the same power that raised Christ from the dead is alive and at work in us. I believe in peace, that true peace, rest. It's not just something that we kind of think is a great idea as we just kind of bide our time and hold the fort until Jesus comes back or until we're in heaven and then we're at peace. No, I believe that peace is a promise for here and now. And not just a little bit of peace, I'm talking about the Prince of Peace, the full peace of Jesus Christ. A peace that transcends understanding, a peace that defies logic, a peace that rages in the midst of whatever the circumstances would say. This is the peace of God that is promised to us. But I believe it comes by just understanding that there's a power to letting go, trusting God. It comes by being prepared to not try to hang on to everything, not trying to control everything. 
It comes by reminding ourselves time and time again of who God is, what He's done, what He's doing, and what He's promised He's going to do. And so if that's you, or if you have a loved one, someone you know who's just battling this thing, and trust me, it's, it's a lot of people. If you feel comfortable, you stretch your hands out to heaven. We're going to pray as a big church family tonight. We're going to believe that God is going to reveal himself like never before in a way that would melt the fear, the anxiety, and distinguish it in his presence. Our God is love. There's no fear in love. It's the perfect love casts out all fear. That's our promise tonight. So Jesus, we thank you for your blood. We thank you for your presence. We thank you, God. You've always been in control. You hold the universe. You hold everyone on earth. And that includes every single person in this room. Every heart that is troubled, every mind that is unsettled, God. Lord, I pray that we'd be reminded again of just how great your love is. That your love conquered sin and death. That your love tore through shame. Your love came all that way so that we might know you personally. So remind us again of your presence. God, I pray that we would experience you like never before, the Prince of Peace. In the midst of whatever circumstance, whatever storm, whatever dark night, God, may we be reminded that you've already won it all, that it all ends in you. And so we praise you, God, for what you've done. We praise you for what you're doing. We praise you for what you're going to do. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. So let's go praise the peace. I pray to help somebody.
Thank you. Uh...